All right, so excited to talk about this. We know this is a really big week for you, Lauren. Yeah. And several weeks prior to yeah. this, too. Yes, lots of planning goes yeah. into this mm -hmm. week, yes. We're so excited for you. Yes, we are so, so excited. excited. Well, it's a big week because it's our kickoff for Girls in Science Month, which is a month-long event yeah. now mm -hmm. here. Uh, and so this Friday, it's the 10th anniversary of Girls in Science. And you know when it started, I was the only woman in the First Alert Weather Center. And since then, that has certainly mm -hmm. changed. Super excited to have two other women on the weather team here. I come from a station where there was only one, so it's nice to, to ramp up the female uh, back here in the Weather Center. Yes, for a long time we've been that way where it was majority men, yeah. and I was the lone woman, and now we're majority women. It's great to see uh, so many women meteorologists, and not only here, but in town as well. Yeah, it's been really fun. I think it's a really big responsibility. I probably didn't notice that a lot of kids watched the news mm -hmm. uh, until I was on the morning shift here in Denver, because people would send me pictures of their kids watching me, and I thought, oh my gosh, th there are little eyes watching. And now that we have this Girls in Science, it's our 10th year, I take it super seriously knowing that those little eyes are watching us and knowing that, hey, I could be that someday. It's a big role that we have, and it's a big role that we can um, help out other little kids to know that they can do something great, too. There has been sort of a majority of male kind of dominating in this industry. Mm -hmm. So I uh, also received pictures of their somebody's daughter holding up a little forecast map saying, you know, she's doing the forecast. And it is such an important thing to show girls that they can do this. Growing up, I didn't think I was ever very good at science or math. So I sort of wrote that off in my mind as a possibility of any career because I'm like, I don't have that side of my brain. Mm -hmm. It's never going to work for me. And I think when it was time to come back to school, it was like, you're going to do this. You're going to take it in bits and pieces. And even though you might not think you're very good at science and math, just give yourself some time. And it turns out that is a subject that I can do. Uh, so that was definitely a bump in the road trying to kind of get over that hurdle. I thought, actually, I am good if I just sit and do it or someone helps me. Sometimes you forget to ask for help. So I think self-doubt certainly is one of the biggest obstacles I've gone through. You know, something that I learned was leaning into the uncomfortable in, in certain life circumstances to a degree. Mm -hmm. um, and Get, get yourself a little uncomfortable and allow yourself to grow and know that you are capable of so much more than you are probably giving yourself credit mm -hmm. for. Don't let the self-doubt keep you back and make sure you're asking for help. If you're struggling in a class, find some help. It's okay to ask for those things. People who work at major companies are asking people for help. So if you need help in high school math, don't think that that's a bad thing. It's okay. Find someone who'll help you and they will and then you'll move on and you'll push forward and you'll feel really great about it. I think for both of us, it was a big self-doubt thing that we couldn't do it. And then it turns out we're pretty good at it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And of course, we would have loved to talk to Callie Zanandri about her journey to meteorology, but she's still on maternity right. leave. So if you're like, who's the third woman member? Uh, yeah. It is Callie. She's still uh, gone for us, but we're excited to have her back uh, later in March. So yeah. she'll be here soon, too. Mm -hmm. And great advice, Lauren. Yeah, I Thank love you. how open and love honest it. you two were. That's beautiful. Yes, and it's mm -hmm. actually, it was nice to hang out with Alex. We were completely <laughs> opposite <laughs> shifts, so it was really cool to get to know her a little bit better because she joined our team yeah. not that long ago, and we really don't see each other much. So uh, it was exciting to get to hang with her, and we've been yeah. doing that the last couple of days, too. <laughs> So I'll be with Alex as we return to the Museum of uh, Denver Museum of Nature and Science for the free kickoff event for Girls in Science. It's Friday from 4 until 8 p.m. And you can find out more information on how to register at cbscolorado.com. And there are some really cool activity boxes that you can order as well. So make sure you get the information for that as well at cbscolorado.com. They're super cool mm -hmm. uh, for your girls to, to get these boxes and do stuff. So you got to order one from them. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Lauren.